surprise, surprise. Shohei Otani and Aaron Judge are your 2024 MLB MVPs, and it wasn't close. Both are unanimous selections. Shohei winning his third MVP, and Judge his second. Otani hit 310 this season with a career high 54 home runs, 130 RBIs, and 59 stolen bases, becoming the first player in league history with the 50 home run, 50 steal season. Judge led the majors in home runs, RBIs, and OPS while batting 322. So let's take a look at how the voting shook out. Judge beat out Royal shortstop Bobby Witt Jr., who picked up all 30 second place votes. Francisco Lindor finished second behind Otani in NL MVP voting. Shohei has now won all three of his MVPs unanimously, this time as a designated hitter, though. And for some insight, we now welcome in former Red Sox third baseman and 2013 World Series champion Will Middlebrooks. And Will, it wasn't a question of whether Otani and Judge would win MVP. I feel like it was more of a question of whether it would be unanimous. But how do you agree with the voting? I agree. I agree. And, and, and I think, you know, there's been a lot of conversation of, of, of us on the media and around the world of baseball trying to create conversation, trying to find a way to make this a competition because Bobby Witt's season was unbelievable. He's arguably, in my opinion, the best baseball player in, in the league, right? All around, all around, right? But I think looking at the unanimous votes, just tells you how dominant these two guys were offensively, right? You're looking at Aaron Judge. He had 322. He had 58 home runs. Uh, he'll become the seventh Yankee all time to win multiple MVPs, which I think is crazy if you look at the list. I'm going to read you the list right now. A-Rod, Roger Maris, Mickey Mantle, Yogi Berra, Joe DiMaggio, and Lou Gehrig. Legends, right? Legends of the game. There's a list right there. So yeah, beat you guys to it. Normally you guys beat me, but I'll take that one tonight. But it's just, he's a special player. He didn't get to the big leagues till he was 24. A lot of these generational players are in the big leagues at 20, 21. Aaron Judge went to college. He went to Fresno State before getting to professional baseball, which cost him a couple years, cost him some stats. When we look at down the road towards the end of his career, when he's going into Cooperstown on the back of his baseball card, he's at 315 home runs right now. Have no trouble getting a 500. Is he going to break any records? Probably not. I think he started his career too late, but wow, what a season. Yeah, and you look at that list of legends and what he has been able to accomplish. It's so impressive that we are witnessing this, but let's go on the other side in the National League, just considering what we saw out of Shohei Otani this year, becoming the oh. first player ever to hit the 50-50 club. His impact for LA's offense, we even got to see that in the postseason, and for what it's worth, well, we didn't even see him pitch this season, but just how do you verbalize just the legacy Otani has I been building? Know. I don't know at this point, <laughs> Yana. Like we every year we're like, wow, he did what? <laughs> Next year, turn the page. Wow, he did what? You know, it's like he just never stops amazing us. And I just hope we don't get numb to and, and bored with his excellence because it's unbelievable, right? The fact that he generated a nine plus war season without playing one inning defensively should paint a picture of how dominant he was at the plate. He was the first player with 400 plus total bases since Barry Bonds, Luis Gonzalez, Sammy Sosa, and Todd Helton back in 2001, right? And uh, let's put this in perspective as well, too. No DH, no player to primarily play DH, which means at least 50% of your games played at designated hitter has ever won MVP outside of when Shohei did it, when, by the way, he was a pitcher as well. But this is the first time ever this has happened that a player just has played offensively and has taken home the MVP trophy. How do we just continue to just track all of the accolades and what Shohei Otani continues to accomplish? But as for the AL MVP, I mean, you talked about it and what we've seen out of Aaron Judge, but are we yet to see his ceiling yet? You know, I'm, I'm, I keep hearing about, well, they have to bring back Soto, right? Because that makes such a big difference in the lineup. And it does. I mean, you think about protection in the lineup. You think about, okay, this is a three-hole hitter. The four-hole hitter says protection, right? That's not always the case. And we saw that this year in New York with Juan Soto being there in the two-hole and his ability to get on base at such a high clip. He's clogging the bases. He's on first base. You have to pitch to Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge saw a historic number of pitches in the strike zone. 
when you're looking at his career. It's the most he's ever seen in one season because it forced teams in the strike zone because Soto was on base. Now, what Judge did offensively, you start looking at, you, you rattled it off earlier. He led baseball in home runs, RBIs, walks. He had 133 walks on base percentage, slugging, OPS. The list goes on and on and on. But it was basically a coin flip whether he was getting on base. A 458 on base percentage is just absurd. He's not just a one-dimensional player. This is a complete hitter. He's not... This is the argument, too. Oh, he's not a great defender. Who cares? <laughs> who, who cares if he plays in center field on his head at this point when you're putting up the production offensively, which we've seen from Aaron Judge? Yeah, again, it wasn't whether or not both Judge and Otani would be MVPs. It was whether if they would be unanimous. And certainly, I think it's undoubtedly just the performance that yeah. we saw this season that they earned that. As always, Will Middlebrooks, appreciate you stopping by. Thanks, Kiana. This marks the second straight year that both MVPs were unanimous selections. In 2023, it was Otani in the American League, if you remember, with the Angels, and with Ronald Acuna Jr. in the National League. Prior to 2023, it never happened in MLB history.